carried, unfair, on balance, broken option. True. But Along with Dancing Blade. <laughs> dancing Blade. Yo, don't tell Lyrex you said called it Dancing Blade, bro. Don't tell him. Steel oh. Shot told me that, and I'm gonna use it more. <laughs> yeah, he really Where does. He really does hate it when you call him that. Getting right. back. Looking at the player phase monster or the monster on player phase, these two lads are fighting. Or give uh give loan the ten dollars. Give loan the ten dollars. Like... <laughs> actually, actually, the hardest counter pick in the world. Gone with the Johns. We're playing the. Gone with the Johns. Honestly, Johns accepted. Don should have won that 3-0. Unfortunately, they were all close. Yeah, you know, sometimes the villain of Smash wins. I mean, that, that's just yeah, how it goes. Sam, unfortunately, taking it over MKLeo, you know, five million years ago. Yeah, left and over PP. You know, it just it just happens, man. <laughs> sometimes it happens. Uh, but right now, you know, speaking of the evil Roy bald men. Yeah, Roy is our boy right now, so uh, Nell's gonna have to kind of. Okay, you know, we we rocking the dance. Oh, the villain. Play. Oh, he's been going for that in read every single time. Yeah. Lyrex definitely going for that, but I want to say maybe one time this set, I want to go outside. <laughs> yeah, typically Nose is going to be trying to tech in because, you know, you don't want to die to, like, side B at, like, 20. So, you know, yeah. you definitely, it's on paper the good option, right? But Yeah, absolutely. Uh, honestly, you know, Null's not in a bad spot right now. Going for kind of a psychotic grab, but uh, nothing really getting punished. On the read. Unfortunate that he did not get that grab on the tech in place, but Nullus is just trying to straight hit. Yeah, I mean, that's what kind of what Sephiroth wants. He doesn't have, like, super long strings or anything, but... Oh, not the best DI on that. Hold maybe. Yeah, you're trying maybe to get he wants away. to go to A1. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe yeah. the food's so delicious that he's it traveling is. through the blast zone into A1. True. Uh, but right now, that's going to poke. That's actually messed up. Uh, but Null's going to try and get extra credit. Uh, you know, getting armored through on the Nair, but... Yeah. All right, up tilt's going to do it. Yeah, the most threatening thing about these two characters is that when Lyrex does a... Um, Space uh, down tilt, the, the good one that's like minus three. Yeah. He gets to choose whether he wants to press or not press. And unfortunately, it's up to Sephiroth to make the defensive decision to either go away, press back, or run away. Yeah, I mean, Nullis is the king of holding backwards, so uh, definitely going to be seeing that a lot. Oh it's my goodness. Terrifying. Good F tilt, not quite going to do it yet. Not going to go for the counter either, so. Uh, Definitely, like, a lot of respect coming out from yeah. those. And he definitely doesn't want to do anything too hasty. That down tilt going the wrong way. Yeah, but that move being, like, I think minus seven at that range. All you can do as Roy is just make the guess or hopefully make a call out on where he wants to go. And, yeah, him going up. Great forward air coming out from those. doing it. You know, Roy, like, has, like, good airspeed, I would say. But, you know, when he's in situations like that where you kind of have to hold forward, you can't hold away uh, when you're trying to get back to stage. So, definitely good. Wow, great up That's air. That's got to be so bad because all he did was get the read right and maybe the down throw right. But monster in the building looking a little scary, hiding under the bed. Yeah. Maybe going to get his... Okay, you maybe not as scary as we thought it was. You know, sometimes <laughs> sometimes the monster's gonna miss a counter. Oh, that's a really good dash attack. That's gonna do it. Yep. Game monster. one going. Go, monster. Game one going to Nulls. So I'm gonna try really hard to not be biased here, monster but monster out the bed into into game one. Taking it. Of course, this is Nulls uh, home turf. So you know, we got the pe we got the people <laughs> cheering for Nulls. Yo, that corner gameplay was sick, right? Nah, Ouch. bro. I am, I am a Don Corn hater. Why didn't you play Joker? Like, it bro, literally I went fine. I, I had so much bro, mental energy taken away from me. <laughs> oh, I'm my God. <laughs> That's fair. And they, I gave Zachary a knockdown. 
All right, going into game two, this is kind of the Nose Classic at this point, you know, coming from losers and, you know, yeah, maybe, Nose maybe and losers this finals percent. playing the Ronaldo video. <laughs> Into grand finals and maybe taking game one. Oh, that's a jab F smash. That's, but uh, It's like not big, but every time you get hit, but you're like, damn, I got hit. Yeah. Oh, that's, yikes. That's the Cola, man. Cola loves going for that jab forward uh, F smash. Uh, you can almost like just see how frustrated Lyrix is because you know like a lot Nels doing a lot of these fade back aerials and you know I Roy just wants to run at you like he just wants to get in there. A lot of the time, the last time they played the set, Lyrix was getting in almost all the time, but every time he converted, he barely got the conversion wrong mm -hmm. and he gets hit. Now he's off stage and right here Nels's turn to be off stage. On yeah, the ledge. We, got, we got Seth with wing on the ledge and it's so good because you can just plank like that. And what happens if he shields that forward air? You're just gonna grab yeah, legendary. Like, what are you gonna do? It's so dumb. It almost feels like Sephiroth's in advantage when he's holding the ledge, which is crazy. Uh, kind of like the only character in the game where it really feels like that. But yeah, that character and I think Corrin with unreactable ledge getups. Lark's making the read. Oh no. We're 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 just letting the forward air rock. I respect it. Oh, that, okay. You know what? That was, <laughs> was was scary, scary. That was a little scary. But that's a that's some big damage for Nullis here. Oh, that's going to be a punish. Trying to get these juggles. This credit looking a little extra right now. 58 is huge. Mm -hmm. Even for any straight hit, any nair would probably just lead to like at least a dodge trap of some sort. Definitely. And if I'm the bald man, I got to okay, kill now. Get the I got to kill too. now. Got to go. Oh, you can see like Nolis knows what the options are, but sometimes this isn't able to pull the trigger. Not quite in the right position. This could be big. Uh, and we're... we're Eric's back, but not exactly back okay, all the way. Okay, okay, let's go, Nullis. All right. Nullis up a stock, pretty much the same percent, and it's up to Nullis to keep this lead, because I know Roy is the most explosive character in this game that isn't Sonic. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, speaking of explosive, that's big 70 damage. That's huge. That's huge going into this last stock. No, Lyric's going to try and pull this out. Uh, unfortunately, the DI out this on the jab. Like jab this is looking like here. jab back air territory. Oh, here it is! Absolutely. Wow. Anywhere on the stage, jab back air, anywhere on the stage, you can just get a kill for free. Now, the question is, can we see the future, or is Roy just that obvious? Oh, my... Wow. I thought he was going to... That was super scary for both players, but... Eat some cheddar tonight, but back to Nooch. Oh, no, the miss input on the up tilt. Definitely leading oh, to this tech chase. Wow. Noah's kind of like reading like the speed of the game, but not quite. You know, Lyrex is willing to slow it down every once in a while, especially when in those tech situations. Uh, okay. yeah, fastball fair, unfortunately, the miss input that you don't want. It is, it is happening. You know, it's happening right now. This might be the second time. I see those get to beat Lyrex, but Lyrex turning off the jams. Uh, bald man. Showing himself to the world here. Shining. Shining sure. bright. Incredible. Resetting the controller. Something's wrong with the controller, maybe. I don't think so. I think he just wants to calibrate his fingers, press the buttons the way he wants. I definitely, yo, I, I was definitely resetting my controller, even though there's, oh. probably, there's nothing wrong with my controller. <laughs> I'm just trash, out. Bro. I'm like just a, trash. You want a little John? Yeah, absolutely. A little excuse to lose to your little boy. All right. We're well, sticking with Hollow Bastion. I've... Uh, I was going to say, I wonder if Riley, uh, Lyrex thinks it's good, but he, I mean, he's getting these tech chases on the platform here, so. Wow. Right here, exactly what I'm talking about. As long as he converts the way he wants and doesn't mess up, he's just going to convert better. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is, this is like really scary for both players, but this wing kind of coming in clutch right now. I can't lie. Tech chase. Yeah. On the ledge. Uh, and unfortunate SD from Lyrex there. I guess I thought the air dodge was going to go back to ledge. Yeah. But yeah. Wow, that I was not really believe he challenged that way. Okay. Uh, Null's picking a lot of the right options here uh, at the ledge. A character that commits like that, I'm very impressed with the way Nulls is playing because sometimes you want a hype clip where the, the dude explodes and gets yeah. like five reads on you, but this consistency. Yeah. You just want to see this guy keep on getting off from ledge and keep on escaping. Because what is he going to do? Not die? That's what it looks like. Yeah. Big damage there uh, coming out with the Octo Slash. And l like we were just saying, I mean, Nolas getting out of a lot of these uh, ledge trap situations, sometimes even leading him into an advantage, which is insane. 
Living at 150. Sephiroth, so light. True. I cannot believe he lived that at the other side of the stage. <gasps> no. Oh, oh, back to life. Unfortunately, okay, okay. the dash grab going to make it so Nose can't punish Ooh. that. But He definitely allowed that for like four hours in his <laughs> apartment. Yeah, big... Big damage coming out from Nullis here. Uh, a lot of extra credit going into game, uh, into stock three. So, Hopefully. oh, he's playing the most respectful ledge play and gets wow. the double right. edge dance, the side B action. God, Ooh, this is terrifying. What is he? Oh, he got it right, but doesn't commit exactly. But yeah, gets the grab. Despite getting out of so many ledge trap situations, you can still kind of tell like, like you don't want to be there. Like Roy is still like absolutely terrifying at the ledge. So. Double wow, jump. that caught his double jump! Absolutely. Wow, Dude is what on a way! Phase right now. Yeah, what a what a way to just turn this game around. Oh, going no for jump. the F tilt. Back on ledge. Are you playing respectfully? Absolutely not. Full hop fair, and back into your ledge trap. This is the first time Lars has actually tried to get what he wants and getting it exactly the way he needs. Fifty-seven on the ledge might be game. Oh my god, that jab just a few frames later probably would have caught Nullis and that would have been if probably I'm, RX, the game. I'm playing the game. The the man behind the vortex. He he tried to he tried to vortex, didn't quite get it. Instead opting for the uh double edged dance. Oh up. my god, life! Jab backwards there. Anyone yeah. on the stage that kills jab backwards there. Absolutely. It looks like Lyrix is trying to ice out uh ice out Nullis, so I think he's trying to probably just take a deep breath. A reverse 3-0 like this definitely takes a lot of mental to get back the way you want. And right now, Lyrix, I have no idea what he's playing. I think it's like death metal, but he <laughs> is focused. I have seen his uh, his Spotify because I'm like friends with him on Spotify, and I can see what he's playing. And one time, it was, uh, I can't remember if it was Breadwinners or Maple Lane, but I looked at his thing, and he was listening to Sexy and I Know It. So, uh, you know, right now, uh, everyone in that. chat finding out Definitely the Definitely playing secrets. that against his round one. Probably me or JC Prophet or Juice. Yo, we got but, the modded but, skin coming out? Let's go. Hype. And we got the uh, Pokemon oh, Mystery Dungeon. Stage advantage with the colors. Maybe. What? <laughs> it's always the modded setup. It's always there. All right, whatever. Uh, Don's complaining that he didn't get to use his modded skin, even though he was playing on the modded Probably setup the all day. one of the I've heard today, to date, even. Yeah. Maybe we should see that in Genesis, or maybe even of Evo, or... Yeah, but right now, an evolution in the game plan that Lyrix is doing, waiting on that down tilt tech chase. Wow. A, a oh, lot of carry off stage, but Nullis once again finding himself off the ledge with that Octo Slash. And Wing is on deck. God, oh, nice. wow. That was max distance on that air dodge. Super good recognition from Lyrex to be able to. Get back to... here? Get back here? Oh, he's definitely jumping oh, to avoid I'm, it. I'm... He knows the kills oh, everywhere yeah. on the stage. He knows. And back to neutral. Lyrex with slight advantage on the stage. Oh, my God. The, they're picking their options at the same time. So it's really about what options they pick. Yeah, essentially, they're just jousting. Whoever's choosing the faster option or the better option range-wise is winning. And right now, Lyrix clutching up just a tiny bit more, 120%. Oh, that barely. dash I'm barely missing. Oh, and he's not going to go for any type of uh, I don't think he guard. had enough frames to get there. And yeah, yeah. Lyrex on player phase, in advantage. Back to neutral. They got healthcare center stage. And oh. Lyrex stealing it. Okay, we go and cut some combos. Oh Robbery. my god, yo, this character is actually messed up, and that's why he's at the top of the Orion rank every week. <laughs> actually, Lyrex. Yeah, Lyrex MK Leo tweak. Yeah, and right. Like Zomba. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, this is actually an insane amount of damage. Lyrex definitely feeling himself. Look at it. <laughs> yo. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that. That's so funny. Alright, alright, alright. Deserved, all right. deserved, absolutely deserved. No, the way you maybe, pressing your buttons. Maybe humbling Lyrex? Maybe? We'll, we'll have to see the, throughout the rest of this game here, but... Is your lie a humble guy? <gasps> oh, 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 oh my god. I don't think he got the spacing correct. I think we... But the read was correct. Yeah. Alright. Sour, uh, side B. Lyrex uh, turning on the Jets. Oh my god. Winning RPS there. I thought Nolis was just going to jump. And there. Back jab here. back. Jab here. back here. Jab backwards there. Game five. Man, this is 
this is a nail biter. I mean, if you only watched the first few games, you would not be thinking that the set would go like this. But uh, yeah, if you look at their history and you look at the set, Noel's 2 0. He's probably going to take it, take it back, get the reset, maybe Lyrics with 3 0 and back, like the last set, but game five. But right now, we're trying to find the song, right? We're trying to find the song. Well, what kind of pick am I looking for? What's the death metal song in Super Smash I mean, Bros. He, I, I mean, he's probably thinking some Tekken. Oh, it's. Okay, okay, I respect that. That's, the that's definitely oh, okay. the Noah's counter pick. Nah, Noah's counter pick is playing a Tekken song that I've never heard of before. But uh, <laughs> other than that, uh, yeah, he does like F Zero music a little bit. Maybe a little Heat, Hey Shadow. Maybe a little environmental noises. But yeah, oh, that's my favorite song in the game, actually. Uh, against Lyrex, you know, maybe it ices him out. Maybe, maybe it shuts down the. Uh, maybe he can hear the whistles and the bugs. From, through those for, headphones. Yeah, through the headphones with the active noise cancellation. Uh, so, at the beginning here, Lyrex just keeping him in the corner. 50 damage, 70 damage. This is uh, already a pretty sizable lead, and it's been like 20 seconds. Yeah, you got to get off the Lunar Lyrex ledge. The Lunar Lyrex ledge is so threatening because he's been choosing right as of game four. Yeah, absolutely. So, right now, we're kind of... Lunar Lyrex ledge. Okay, we're... Is it Noel's time? Oh, it might not be Noel's time. Oh, try to get the jab. Not quite getting there in time. These two lads are working it out back to center stage. So, honestly, they're just doing rising aerials and not even respecting that they're oh, we so much. Sephiroth is tall and light. So... Like me. For real. <laughs> Sephiroth's just like me. Five foot nine. Good. Tallest man Good alive. dash attack tech chase. Yeah. Uh, not gonna be able to punish that air dodge to the platform. Oh, he got the right read, but he didn't do the landing fair. This oh, he just wants to play pressure. He does not want to play punish game, which is fair. Good F tilt, falling with Lyrex. Not gonna make it. Really good body block from Nullis here. He's really trying to keep it alive for North Country. That up smash! I cannot believe. Yo, the crowd is actually laughing after that. This up is smash. the Lunar Lyrex up. diff. Maybe being sponsored on a team with a bunch of top players and yourself, the best player over MKLeo and Tweak and Zamba. Yes. With the hard reads. His brain is so wrinkly. You can see it through the, the head, I guess. <laughs> so, so, the shine so, is showing like yeah, the glistening yeah, like veins. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, we're going to punish jump. that jump. You're just... Absolutely. One I'm more surprised that counter actually worked. That counter might have saved him, honestly. No, he had a jump. Oh, I didn't realize that. All right. Now back to Nooch. Pressing the buttons the way they want. Vortex is not exactly the what. We're going to need this uh, wing to do some big damage here if Nullis wants to uh, kind of start mounting this comeback. But oh, Yeah, DI out. Super clutch in this position. Both of these characters just doing landing aerials. Great counter. That's going to do it, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Spends the jump on the first one. Oh, no, on the second one, but he does it super early. Yeah. Lunar Lyrex. The Lunar Lyrex. Wow, Lodge. great roll from Nullis there. This is... Nullis using Code Lunar to get off the Lunar Lyrex edge. Ledge for 20% oh, off. Oh, you're Jab backward there. Jab backward there. We got a last stock situation. Game five. Insane. Last stock for Lyrex. Crowd's going nuts right now. <laughs> last stock for Nullis. If he does not want to get taken over. Oh, but right good now, down tilt. Nullis, Nullis is in the, the zone. Nullis is gaming right now. 75. Poppy gaming? Poppy gaming. Poppy a gaming. good F tilt. Celica and Lunar not exactly liking this position, but right now. Oh. Turning on the Jets. Uh-oh. I'm going flambe mode. He got that grab. That's crazy. All right, 39. All right. I know it's a good-looking number, but you're playing against Roy. We got we to gotta chill a little bit right now. That's what they're thinking of themselves. Edgeguard situation. Not going to get the F Both tilt. Both of these lads are so tense. Wow. Great up tilt. Not, not only land. did that hit, it like grab ledge. I don't know what... <laughs> The hell is going. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Crowd. Crowd popping off. Nullis getting the reset. Uh, and we're back to 0-0. Zero, zero. Man. Is it going to look like? <laughs> it Will it look like? A grand finals reset, Lyrex 3-0. That is kind of the question we have to or wait see. Is Nullis actually going to take it home? You know... I can't be biased, but yeah, we're going to see what happens here. Uh, I do want to see Noel take it home just based on stats alone. Yeah, right. You, it, people love seeing the comeback, but you know, it's kind of tough. We're picking different music. Where are we going? 
Okay. You going Tekken? Oh, see, what I tell you? what I tell you? He's picking random. Commentator reads. Yeah, I told you. Snow Castle. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's probably good. I can't really hear it. I have no idea. <laughs> Tekken music is pretty good. Yeah, I'm a fan. Especially when you're playing a game like Smash, you just want to hear, like, the, the, the dub stuff and the 808s yeah. and so fast paced that you just want to mash these two characters except for Sephiroth a little <laughs> bit these two characters except for half of them uh, they want to mash so um, you know we're just playing a little bit of neutral doing a little bit of movement little, and this is any dash forward, dash back. anytime Roy is not literally directly in Sephiroth's face Sephiroth's chilling we love that did that catch the oh that was very smart yeah Understanding that if he upbeat, he was just dead because he spent his jump. Yes. Oh, he definitely had the read. Wow. The down tilt just adds here in a brawl. Hashtag. Oh, no, no. Not getting the F smash on that tech chase. Insane. Your guy lied. Oh, we're Your playing a mini lied. game. Your guy Are you dead? Oh, my Your guy God. Lied. This game is horrible. Uh, that's, that's the shit you see in Mario Party 4. You get a dual mini game and you're like, damn. 1v1, and sometimes... Wow, good reversal. Things like Nellis. this will happen where you're... Oh, and Lyrix makes it back. Insane. He's dead. Oh, you're, you're dead, though. Okay, okay. <laughs> Lyrix, dead, great recovery. Guaranteed. Maybe maybe a little overextending, but, you know, who am I to judge? I'm not in Grand Finals, so... Nah, me neither. Oh, he went for that. Nullis, taking a second to think, uh, you know, what option should I pick? You do not know how many people in this room would have just rolled in anyways. <laughs> Looking at that move like, I'm probably going to do it. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, Nullis is the king of not picking options. Oh, good counter. Are you dead? The 50 -50. That's the question. One more time. Oh, not getting that back air. Unfortunate. The worst part is you lost that interaction. You don't even get the counter play. You have to play defense on that ledge. Because yeah. if you take a risk, you're at 73 against Sephiroth at the ledge. You are going to die. Good up, he had a shield to armor through the nair. Uh, I think. D does Lyrex like uh, being out of shield a lot? Oh, yeah, you know what? Yo, never mind, bro. <laughs> That's the he question. Likes it. There's the answer. <laughs> oh, boy. This wing still has potential to do a lot for him, but he's at the ledge, so we got, you got to get Thinking back to the conversation that Lyrex had after winner's finals, he might be using the quote mix up to maybe just up throw. No. I have yeah. no idea. Maybe, maybe he wants to hold in all the time. Maybe he wants to like hold out because he wants to sit a little bit on that blast zone. But yeah, Roy getting killed. Yeah, you can kind of see Nolis just kind of poking. Like, if you're if Lyrex isn't gonna run at him, he's not gonna run at Lyrex. And I think maybe uh, he was getting a little bit comfortable uh, with that, but now definitely playing a lot more patient. Yeah. So, you know, Lyrex ledge. These two lads are not even trying to play on the ledge. They want the stage, they want the plats, they don't even care how good or bad you are on the ledge. That F tilt gonna catch uh, gonna catch the landing a little bit. Jesus Christ, it's taking so long for me to <laughs> click the ban button on the bot. These two players playing like bots, level nine CPUs. <laughs> Yo, what? Uh, Sephiroth, what is he going to do at the ledge? He's going to F-tilt. Oh, my God. Okay, that was almost, actually almost really sick. so hype. Oh, you're dead. You're so no dead. Way. Oh, my God. Lark's walking back, the H-box. You know. Maybe the man on the away. screen was H-box and Lyrex. True. They... They're uh, the same person. I don't think I've seen H-box and Lyrex in the same room. I've, that's... The, you know what? Unfortunately, I can say I have, so... Yeah, unfortunate. Dude. Yeah, unfortunately. But, you know, they are pretty similar. I've never seen Lyrex pop off. Maybe maybe we're going to get an HBox level pop off. That would be really funny. It would be so funny. <laughs> I was and thinking of like a better adjective. Let's make adjective. sure that if Lyrex does the pop off, do it in front of the camera, please. So I can clip I'm it. I'm thinking of like a better adjective like cool <laughs> or hype or awesome or sick. I guess funny's up there. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't. I would uh, wait and uh, I can't think of the words I'm trying to say. What I'm saying is I don't think any of these characters are hype. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Sage in chat saying that she's watched Lyrex play a melee money match against Hungrybox. Insane. Did he win? I, yeah, okay, obviously. Look. Roy's our boy. Of course he wins. To be fair, 
the less hair you have on your head, the better the player you are. True. And since Hbox got that beard, you know, not quite Nullis as good as overcoming ours. the odds with a head full of hair, <laughs> making this disadvantage an advantage using this comeback to get back on the stage first. Okay, we're getting a little bit comfy doing that down tilt from the ledge. Lyrex doing some dash dances because he thinks it's cool looking. All right, we're oh, no. we're going into. Wait, I just realized why are we on Kalos? Yo, Nullis, you uh, sleeping when you're banning or something? Because uh, I what? I'm not I'm not even gonna lie. This is relatively comfortable because Roy with Platts gives him access to an instant fast fall upper, which is plus. He cannot take his turn back. He has to respect the next button. Unless Lyrix is like trying to press a super aggressive button, like another like aerial or like just a spot dodge. Mm -hmm. Having access to no plat unless you're on the ledge is something Sephiroth wants in neutral because the neutral is not exactly like more like harder, but it's simpler. You're only watching yeah. for a lot less options relative to like Roy on the plat. Absolutely. And, damn. Yeah. This, this is terrifying. Lyrix, you can just tell how comfortable he is right now. Yeah. Getting that uh, extended F tilt. And Nolan's gonna have to make a pretty sizable comeback to make this back. Uh, I mean, it depends. Nolan's is in need of a major comeback right now. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> oh my. Gets Wait. out? And presses it forward again? I'm. Yeah, right now, Nolan's is just hoping his mom comes in and gives him that wing. And of course. I am at a loss for words for that counter. <laughs> It's okay. It's Deserved. okay. We got we got the wing. We got the wing. It's all possible for Nullis here. Uh, but of course, you know he's gonna have to not See, get like falling the, up there. The air. thing about Sephiroth is that I struggle to initiate, and any sort of defensive read that beats Roy's offense is the only way I'm gonna any way words I'm gonna clutch up. And oh, the jab, the jab. I'm not gonna lie, that was a pretty insane read. Yeah. I thought I was just gonna offer the last one and just let the damage rock, wait for a, a better hit, but he's still an advantage. Sitting on the ledge. You gotta wonder if maybe Nolts has another character coming out after this, uh, because right now it's not going as well unless he gets his edge guard. This is then... this is oh good up the. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Okay. All right. So Lyrex is up 2-0. On his tournament, uh... Yeah, tournament point. Yeah. Nolis having to bring it back. Ideally, I think PT he, is not the play. I, I was going to say. I think is really good. I, the, the, yeah. you, won, you won set one, clutched out game five. You can run it back again. All you need to do is do it yourself. It's your turn. We could see something, like, crazy. Like a Nolis Joker, a Nolis... No, it's Meta Knight. Like I don't, I don't know. Uh, he's probably gonna play Sephiroth though. Let's yeah, be honest. Nullis DK. Oh, he's thinking. Oh, he's thinking. He's thinking right now. I want to play Sora from Kingdom Hearts, right? No, he's. I he's hate. Thinking... I hate that he stops, flips the colors for like okay. half a second. I'm like, he's playing Wario. All right. We were thinking. <laughs> I, I, he he does like Wario. He does like Wolf. Those were the other two characters that I expected. But Pokemon mm -hmm. Trainer gonna come out. Special, right? I'd, yeah. I'd love to see. You know the Pokemon Trainer G stuff because in in the past it it hasn't been good. He, uh, Lyrix has real just really good against Pokemon Trainer in general. He's beaten Puppe in tournament. He's right. beaten Nullis in like most of the games or most of the sets that uh, you see in that record were against Pokemon Trainer. So uh, to be fair, the last time they played, this was the stage that they loved to go on. Yeah, I don't know which Vermont tournament it was, but it was definitely just the stage. Right now, Nullis getting a pretty sizable lead with Squirtle, so. Uh, you gotta wonder if maybe he'll switch to uh, Ivysaur or something like that soon. I think he wants a little bit more percent and maybe the advantage state that the ledge will give him. Yeah. Trying no, to he use the have water time. gun, yeah. God, the backwards there. Oh my. From downtown. The scary man is doing his fire sword moves. That's what what do saying. we do? You roll in. Oh no. <laughs> Larix. With the, oh. Okay. I cannot we wait that punish. Up B, gonna do it. What? Wow, that move is messed up. I wonder where he was holding like down and out, because that would look wow. livable. That switch, I mean, it might have gone under the radar a little bit, but that switch was really smart. Get back to Squirtle, but at the same time, the escape option afterwards to make sure he didn't get punished was also 
flawless. So, uh, definitely, oh, this is going to be big damage probably. Wow, Squirtle's carried. That was only like 30%. No, nah, that's, that's dumb. He uh, also goes to the other <laughs> side of the stage. No, nah, this character's stupid. Maybe the corner carry is a little bit too good. Maybe Ivysaur, I'm lying. Ivysaur up me feeds family, families and children. I couldn't have said it better myself. I mean, how do you think Tweet Squirtle got... Squirtle doing the dishes. Yeah. And Ivysaur doing the charity work. Yeah. This is going, you know, uh, pretty well, I would say, for Nolis right now. But uh, you got to think, if you win this game, you have to win two more on Lyrix's counter pick. I'm definitely not thinking about that. I'm thinking about, how did not get a jab backwards there, and I'm alive? Does We're living. kill anywhere on the stage? Okay. Switching to Ivysaur. Solid with punish on the way back. Man, a the lot way of... Larks is trying to snipe Nolis' dash dances with like the full hop and like the delayed double jump. Oh, this could be big damage! Numbers. Oh my 42 god! 42 on the landing. 54. Getting grabbed by Ivysaur at zero is actually so scary. Like he, he just does so much damage. Great Hunting. drift. Yeah, Hunting. following that drift. Hunting goodwill. Oh, oh, good fade out with the jump. I'm not gonna lie, that was the most wild. That was a sick conversion that will probably go unnoticed. How do you hit a nair like that from the other side? <laughs> oh. At that percent. I mean, a fair. <laughs> Noah's kind of getting, uh, kind of getting stuffed out here by Lyrex, but oh, that smash! No way. Wow, it actually killed. That's insane. <laughs> Noah's taking game one with. Game two. Or, yeah. or, ga or yeah, taking his first game with. Pokemon Trainer. Using... Ivy Sword Forward Smash. That's a that's a secret move. Nobody uses that move. You go on Pokemon Showdown and it's like banned. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot use that in OU. <laughs> Sticking with Smashville. Both players seemingly enjoying the stage. So. Nolis loves the stage on Smashville. I don't... I can't think of a stage that he would want to go for a non Ivy Sword... For a non... Uh, PT character that isn't just Smashville. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm a little campy little little goblin, so I love going to town and city, even against That's Roy. Fair. That's but, fair. But uh, you know, Nolis, he probably doesn't want to get uh, side beat at 20 and die or whatever. So yeah, he's getting side beat at 20 right now, but <laughs> escapes. True. Wow. Okay. We love we love Dancing Blue. We love Dancing Blue. Yeah. We at North Country and Vermont shaking each other's hands on the mic. You can't see it. <laughs> but we are agreeing that Dancing Blade. It's a move. Oh, a punish? Okay. There's no way that's a punish. I, it is on shield. It's pretty laggy because you get that whole bounce back animation. Oh. Great DI on the jab. I cannot believe. I'm gotcha. And <laughs> Roy getting the F tilt, <laughs> taking that stock and. Oh, he got the jump. Going more oh. mode, going more mode. Oh, we chilling now. Up B? Nah. The Lunar Lyrics ledge. But it's Noel's time. Mm -hmm. Oh, we slip off the ledge too. Damn. That's tough. Oh, great down air. Let's. Getting no, not only the first one, but the second one was insane. Because I'm fairly certain. He probably could have magnet hit. Once in a blue moon. All right, we got to find out what. Okay, we're going for down throw starter. Yeah. Simple. Wow, that SDI on the down air, kind of hard to notice, but you know, you're not supposed to pop out on that side. So. People don't really mention this this often, but the way people press their controllers, Lyrix and I, we press our buttons as hard as humanly <laughs> possible. I have no idea how Noel presses buttons, but it's pretty calm, pretty collected, and maybe he's a little bit of a softer presser. And the little soft touch he's using. Any to soft die? pressers. Any so <laughs> oh, that F-Tilt, absolutely. Just on reaction to that uh, get up. And the Charizard? You know, Charizard cheese? You know, Noah said it to me one time. If you ever get off the Heaven platform as Charizard and you don't switch, you're trying to cheese, bro. Right now, it's looking like Fundy's, the way this matchup is playing. Statistically, he's not getting the hits he wants, but that f <laughs> That's not gonna kill. Oh my God! I've never seen someone get robbed so that hard by that uh, that side B. Oh my God! 
killing Nulls on the Lunar Lyrics ledge. Lyrics taking it. Three, one, it's, over Nullis. I can't believe that side beat sweet spotted. I mean, it literally, it's it sweet spotted, killed him at 70. He was Charizard. What? That was the cheesiest shit of all time. Oh my god. <laughs> Vermonters in chat popping off. <laughs> There's no Vermonter in chat. Except for Salvis at his voucher. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. How does that kill? At 70. <laughs> Double edge dance is actually like so. Oh my god. Yo, that, that move is the future. Not it it killed Charizard <laughs> at 70 <laughs> in a sweet spot. I, I, I just wanted stage control. I was like, might as well go for it, right? This game is horrible. And uh, anyways, that's it for us. That was Star KO3 Farewell Saga. Uh, yeah, farewell to 78%. Unfortunately, that was... Yeah, Lyrics is carried. Yeah. That's all right, though. Right? That's all right. That's... That's all right. That's my carry boy. That's a lunar dip right there. That's, <laughs> that's, that, that's the lunar, that's the lunar that's, that's, Lyrix ledge. That's not sweet spot for most Royals. Brainless Lyrix does not kill. If that Only was, lunar Lyrix kills. If that was my side B, nah, that shit sours. That's messed up. All right, well, that's going to be it for us. This is Star KO3 Farewell Saga, and we'll see you next semester, I guess, because it's good. Yeah, so we'll see you in September. Bye-bye.